doesn't stress the grammar so much as it does getting your thoughts across. Um, cell phones, unfortunately, have replaced the good novel. Don't, don't, don't even start with cell so. <laughs> But I, you know, I understand why, because during the pandemic, when these kids were home, that was their only connection. So, you know, it became like a habit, an addiction, and, you know, that's hard to break. So I, you know, I don't like the cell phones. I wish my students would read more. I would love to go back to certain style grammar. I mean, <laughs> like Warren's grammar was my go-to book. But, but you see, the the SATs have changed. So the way I taught in the '60s would be non-productive for the SATs now. You know, because now it's all essay writing and reading comprehension. But they can't understand to read if they don't read and they don't read. Some of them do. Most of them, like I just gave them names, so I'm making them read it. But if I don't, and you know, I give them Gatsby, I give them a whole bunch of books for them, but if I didn't give them the books, they wouldn't go to the library and I love it. Um, I think people have to have meaning in their lives. I think you have to have a purpose. And my purpose is helping these kids grow up into good human beings. Like, if, you, if you don't work, what, what do you do? I, I, I don't know how else to explain it. You, you have to do something that you like, and you have to do something that you think is important. And as I said, initially I wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to save lives. Now I want to like get these kids to appreciate literature, to, to be able to write, to be able to speak and to be good human beings, because that's as important as anything else. Um. 